da 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 Hey folks, welcome back to Checker with Target. Now, today I'm going to be making all my equivalent exchange tools. So that would be an alchemical chest and an energy condenser and my basic transmutation tablet and the Philosopher's Stone, I think. But before I do that, I need to quickly take a trip down into my mine to go collect all my diamonds that I found last time. So I'm going to quickly run down there. And I'm also going to, in addition to all those things I mentioned so far, I'll be making my talisman of repair. So I can repair all my stuff as well. And depending on how much leftover diamonds I have, which I doubt I have enough for, I'll also make a... might make a energy collector, but I don't think I have enough for that, so I'm just going to pick up all my lovely, lovely diamond, which there's one hidden in the ground that I did not expect to find. So that's six diamond in that hole which is fantastic and I'm quickly going to fast forward while I collect the four obsidian I need and destroy the nether portal so just hang on to your hats and I'll be right with you for some interesting crafting and here we are back at home where I've collected all my items and for some reason everything else seems to be resetting itself that I'm doing so I need three of those, I need four of that, a fifth one oh, might as well condense the rest of that for energy and let's get everything else out of the other chests I need, ooh I'm short one gunpowder Oh wait, no, I'm not short gunpowder at all. I may be short redstone. If, no, I'm not short redstone. What am I saying? And plenty of other things. Now, one thing I do need that I know I don't have would be a chest. So, I'll quickly craft one of those. Everything else I appear to have plenty of. Even string. So, and of course, pumpkins are nice and valuable. As well as leather, but I'll hang on to that for a second. So, oh, there is plenty of wood to make a chest with. And where's the rest of my diamonds? Ooh, why can't I find the rest of my diamonds? Oh, that's not good. I had three diamonds up here. I'm almost positive I had three diamonds up here. So I'll quickly make that chest. And did I miss the diamonds completely? Or am I going insane slowly? There are no diamonds up here. Unless they're still downstairs, so I'm quickly going to run down into the mine and check. Well, that's not good. I Oh, wait, no. Of course I don't have three diamonds. They're in my pickaxe. How silly am I? So, well, I might as well do everything down here, since I have a crafting bench. So, to get started, I'm going to make myself my big important thing to get started with everything that's my philosopher's stone so now that I have one of those I can very easily make a transmutation tablet which I'm going to go make upstairs because I don't want to make it down here so I'm gonna cut right to being upstairs in a speedy speedy flash And I'm back upstairs, and I have everything, after, well, quite embarrassingly, forgetting that I don't actually have 
anything to make the... Well, didn't have three diamonds left over because I used them to make a diamond pickaxe. And of course, where do I put all my smooth stone? Because I need some of that. So there we go. So, four smooth stone and four obsidian. Surrounding the philosopher's stone gives you a transmutation tablet. Which is a wonderful, wonderful item. So, where will I place my transmutation tablet? I think I'll place it down on top of a very nice... Well, that's not quite how it's supposed to go. On top of that. So it looks all pretty for me. And then I'll start teaching interesting recipes to the transmutation tablet. So, I need a wanted to know how to make a chest and obsidian and of course I don't need the buckets I will however hang on to some string and I might as well teach it some wood and some iron and I don't want the flint and steel I can have all the smooth stone and my sapphires and my emeralds as well as my diamond pickaxe which means I can get my three diamonds back out in addition to all the other lovely stuff in there I can't teach it the uranium yet because uranium's an energy but I can well, teach a cobblestone and rubber wood and torches and pumpkins. So those are the basics I'll be using today. Turn my pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern because I can teach it that as well. Then I can get rid of all the other pumpkins. And I can pull out another diamond which I'm quite happy about. And teach it the jack-o'-lantern because the jack-o'-lantern and the pumpkin's the exact same value. And then just pull lots of smooth stone out. And now I can teach it all the different energies. So all my redstone can go in there. And all my glowstone. And my uranium and my nickelite. And that's quite a lot of energy that I have available right off the bat. So I'll pull that out as uranium is I can also put in coal and uh, I should probably find some charcoal which is why I hung on to that single piece there which gives me the one charcoal so now using that and uh, my crafting bench I'm going to make myself hang on where are those feed it from flesh and take some more string and sticky resin and arrows because I want all my tools I can reclaim my ladders quickly feed those in and sticks and pull out some iron and some more string so that gives me those items. Now the next thing is that I want to make my lovely chest which will be these in that order. So that gives me an alchemical chest which I will transmute a second one of using two diamond so I want to turn the one into an energy condenser which I need four more diamond for which is exactly why I have four diamond and um, that's a really good thing is that means I can more easily convert between energy and matter without having to struggle until I at least get my client star out so then the last item I wanted to make I need my reeds for, 
which I can't find at the moment. Just what I went looking for. There we go. And I need to make some paper. So now we have paper. And of course the ever annoying covalence dust. Which I'm gonna keep one of each because I never can find them in the crafting area. So those go something like this. That gives me a talisman of repair, which is quite important to have. So I can put the talisman of repair in there. I can repair my stone sword. And of all my items that I haven't recycled yet, I can now pull out well, actually, I'll hang on to that in there for a second, because... Now, if I could remember what my energy condenser is made from. It's for obsidian around alchemical chests, so that's why I hung on to one obsidian. Otherwise, I would now be fishing for obsidian, so... Alchemical chests, get rid of my search grid. Use up four diamonds, which are quite expensive, and I have an energy condenser. Excellent. And of course, now I can throw all of my covalence dust in there, as well as most of my jack-o'-lanterns, the one sticky resin, the massive sugar cane, Massive uranium, gunpowder, glowstone dust, redstone, string, paper. I'll even throw in some coal and charcoal. And a lot of smooth stuff. And hey, why not? Let's. Well, I'll make diamonds in a second. First, I want to do a mass tool transfer. Uh, this is why I try to hang on to as many tools as possible, because I can now fix them all up. So, just going to jam these in here. Now, for most of the tools, that's not really that important, because these are all cheap, but for, like, my sapphire pickaxe, you can see its value is just increasing straight up there. And everything I have in here allows me to suddenly go, I'd like diamonds please. And there we go. Diamonds are slowly being formed. And suddenly I have almost an entire stack of diamonds. Or well, not stack, entire block of diamonds. Not counting all the energy that's left in here. So that's not something expensive. Those however are and then I can pull out all of that. And you know what? They can go in there as well. So suddenly all of these are starting to look much better. So my wooden tools are all fixed. And you know what? I don't want them. No. Mr. Wooden Axe. Whoops. And some rubber wood. Um, I don't think I torch sugar cane to this, but I'll just throw all of those in there. Pull out some sticky resin. Oh, and there's a skeleton attacking me through the hole in my wall. Let's. It's that or I'm starving from hunger. And I'm pretty sure I'm not starving from hunger because I'm not starving from hunger. So, we can jam all of those in there. That can go in there. I'll hang on to some charcoal and some coal. And my proper, my nice and proper fresh steak. Look at my tools, which are all now suddenly fixed. 
including my pickaxe, which goes in the bottom. And, well, I can do some more recycling. And I don't care for that. Last one. So that puts me, I'm at eight diamonds, almost on my way to nine. And I plenty of flax seed. Actually, no, these are all properly obtained seeds. So I'll hang on to those. Um, well, the wood I don't care about, the rubber wood I don't care about, the wool, the rotten flesh, my sapling. Actually, no, I'll hang on to my saplings. I will, however, teach the rubber sapling to that, because I can't. And let's get plenty of nice items out of there. So, two more emeralds, which I think's a reasonably nice hole, and some smooth stone. So, well, and we're almost at our ninth diamond. But what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to call it an episode there, folks. It's hmm, more tools. Yay. It's been a good run. I'll leave these in here. Finally get to use up all my sand. The gravel, the white wool. I have another stack of coal I missed. So my coal can go in there. And everything else I'm just gonna chuck in here to teach it to this. But, uh, well, as I was saying before, I get distracted by all the shiny toys I have. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode. I'll take some time behind this petering about to get some more resources so I can jump more or less back into where I was in the previous season. Is this getting established stuff isn't quite that entertaining. But thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. And I'm actually have ten diamonds now. Woo! So that means I can make a block. Ooh. Anyway, right, like I was saying, thank you for joining me, folks. Um, as always, if you l enjoy this episode, Please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time where we do some more basic things with equivalent exchange. Take care. Bye.